Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about four automatic transmission shifting problems. In this video, I'll be going over four specific problems and they're very common problems if there's an issue with your automatic transmission shifting and I'm gonna tell you quickly how to diagnose them. Let's get right into the video. Problem number one is a rough shifting. Now, if you're driving a car with an automatic transmission, even if the car is old, as long as the transmission is in fairly decent condition, it should shift roughly smoothly from first to second, third, fourth, blah, 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 fifth, and so on, okay? Now, as the car gets older, it's gonna be a little bit rougher than normal, but if you're driving and it's like, if it feels like that, that's a problem, okay? That's a pretty serious problem. So what that usually is, and these are the common symptoms and the common uh, fixes, but by all means, anything can happen to any car. So take these with a grain of salt and look into them further but generally speaking it can be low transmission fluid or the actual fluid needs to be changed if the fluid is old and it's really really you know murky and, and, and gritty then it might need to be changed so what you want to do if you feel rough shifts is you want to first start off by checking into the transmission fluid look at the condition of it see if it's low see if it's old see if it needs to be changed and if you don't know what you're doing ask a mechanic to help you out um, and then see if that's the issue if not then you got to go a little bit further Most most of the time rough shifting is caused by low transmission fluid or old transmission fluid. The second automatic transmission shifting problem is that it won't shift into drive or reverse. So you actually like physically cannot shift it into drive or reverse. Now this happens sometimes and one of the main reasons once again is low transmission fluid or fluid that needs to be changed. However there are a multitude of reasons and a multitude of things that can cause this specific problem. But I would check your transmission fluid first. There's also likely going to be a key slot beside your shifter. You want to take your key, your car key, put it in that key slot and then hold, try and shift it into drive or reverse and see if that helps. And if it doesn't help, then you know, you really got to look into it further. But you want to get as many symptoms as possible before you try and figure out a potential solution and spend money on a potential solution. The more symptoms that you can have, the better that your chances will be of the actual solution being the right one. Because you can do, you can replace your whole transmission when all you needed was some transmission mission fluid don't ever forget that okay so moving on to the third automatic transmission shifting problem which is the car won't start so that's right if your car doesn't start you might think that it's your battery you might think that it's your alternator you might think that it's your starter you might think that it's you know your key your ignition whatever the case is but you actually might have left your car in gear you might have left your automatic transmission in reverse or drive or low or sport or one or two whatever your gear selector has basically uh, there's something called a neutral safety switch at least that's what it's called in, in most most places we'll call it a neutral safety switch on the car your neutral safety switch will basically only allow the engine to start when it's in park or neutral meaning if you left your car in reverse drive or anything other than park or neutral right then your engine won't start if the neutral safety switch is working properly if your car starts in drive then you probably have a faulty neutral safety switch and you should definitely get that replaced because it can be very dangerous uh, to start your car in drive or reverse whatever the case is so if your car won't start take a look at the shifter believe it or not it happens so often you leave it in drive you know you, you shut your car off you go to work you have your e-brake on so the car doesn't roll away you come back and you're like oh my battery died meanwhile you just left it in drive check that out last but not least the fourth automatic transmission shifting problem is what's called delayed engagement so if you have delayed engagement this is what it's gonna feel like you put the car in drive you push the gas it, your car doesn't move and then all of a sudden it moves after like a second or two that's delayed engagement it is a delay in the engagement of your drive or your reverse whatever the case is whatever gear you're putting it in now this could be once again low transmission fluid or uh, fluid needs to be changed or it could also be uh, worn seals or uh, stretched out bands within the transmission so there are so many components so many small components in a transmission like hundreds if not thousands of small parts in a transmission okay and when some of those are stretched out or worn out things can happen delayed engagement is one of those potential causes um, one of the potential uh, effects of the cause of those components being worn out so check it out see what the problem is and that's it those are four automatic transmission shifting problems and I've told you what they are the symptoms and sort of how to diagnose them how to start diagnosing them if you like the video be sure to give it a thumbs up let me know what you think down below as a comment and of course be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one and that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.